Vitamin A has three functions within the body. One of its functions is it's an antioxidant vitamin along with vitamin C and E. We'll go into the function of antioxidant vitamins a little bit later on. Its second function and probably its main function is that vitamin A will help to form a purple pigment within your eye and that will help you see, especially in dim light or dark light. So the old wise tale about carrots helping you see in the dark is actually true. Carrots are a really rich source of vitamin A and that will help you to see in dim or dark light. The final function of vitamin A is it helps children to grow normally so they will grow to their full potential and they won't have any stunted growth. As vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin that means it will be stored in the body and if you're pregnant, that can be quite dangerous as it can harm the fetus if you do have too much vitamin A in your diet. It can cause birth defects such as spina bifida, which can be quite dangerous. And we'll go on to discussing spina bifida a little bit later on. If you did have too much vitamin A, though, it can be a good thing as that will help to promote good vision in dim light. It can be quite difficult to get too much vitamin A from your diet. It would be a case of if you were taking supplements, so vitamin A supplements or a multivitamin, and you already had enough vitamin A in your diet, that would be the time when you would be getting too much vitamin A within your diet. If you don't have enough vitamin A in the short term, that can cause more cell damage because there's not enough vitamin A to prevent the free radicals from damaging cells. It will also increase the risk of certain cancers and heart disease, but will only increase that risk in the long term. So if you didn't have enough vitamin A for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, then you will have a bit more cell damage within your body, but that's not gonna put you at a greater risk of cancer and heart, heart disease just because you have a lack of vitamin A for a couple of days or weeks. The thing that vitamin A, if we've not got enough of it in our diet, the major thing that it's gonna cause is something called night blindness. And if you go on to the next slide, I'll go into a bit more detail about what night blindness is. So if you don't have enough vitamin A in your diet, this will cause night blindness. And that is because vitamin A will help to develop that purple pigment within your eye. But if there's not enough vitamin A, there's not going to be enough of the purple pigment developed in your eye, which is going to cause something called night blindness. So if you see on the left and the right hand side of the picture, this is what you guys would see if you went out onto the high street when it was dark. You'd be able to pick up the shop light, you'd be able to pick up car headlights, you'd be able to see street lights and pick out all of these things quite clearly. The middle picture is showing you what somebody with night blindness would see. So they're going to be able to pick up the very bright lights like car headlights and street lamps but they're not going to be able to pick up lights which are in the distance or quite dim lights so lights that they'd get within shops at night time they wouldn't be able to see those. The major function of vitamin D within the body is to absorb calcium. So vitamin D acts a bit like a key and it will unlock the door to the body, allowing calcium in. Therefore, because it's absorbing calcium within the body, it will support the growth and development of your bones and your teeth. Also, if you have any broken bones, it will help to speed up their repair. Because it's letting calcium into the body, Calcium can then go about its function and calcium's main function is to do with the growth, repair and also development of your bones and your teeth. Vitamin D doesn't have an awful lot of sources. The major source of vitamin D is sunlight. So that is why people in the UK especially lack vitamin D. And throughout the winter months, we are encouraged to take a vitamin D supplement because you are probably going to be lacking in vitamin D. In the current situation, whilst we're in lockdown and we're not getting out into the sunlight as much, there has been some evidence that you should be taking a vitamin D supplement because you're not getting out as much. 
especially people who will be shielding and staying in the house all the time, they should be having a vitamin D supplement because it's quite difficult to get vitamin D from food. Some manufacturers like Kellogg's will fortify it into breakfast cereals. Fortify just means that they add it on. So they'll make the cornflakes and then they actually stay a host of different vitamins onto the cornflakes before they package them up. So there are certain B vitamins that will be fortified into cornflakes. Also, vitamin D is often fortified in. And breakfast cereals are one of the major foods that we do add vitamins and minerals into because they are widely eaten. Other sources of vitamin D include oily fish, margarine, and then egg yolk. So it's not the egg white, it's specifically the egg yolk that contains vitamin D. So as you can see, it's quite a narrow range of sources. So that is why quite a lot of people in the UK can be deficient in vitamin D. So because vitamin D absorbs calcium into the body, if you don't have enough vitamin D in your diet, this means that there will be a lack of calcium absorbed within the body. In the short term, that will cause your bones and also your teeth to become a bit weaker and a bit more brittle and more likely to break the longer that you continue to lack vitamin D. If you lack vitamin D for a significant length of time, so a couple of months, couple of years, then this will cause three different diseases depending on what age you are. So if you're a child, it will cause rickets. If you're an adult, it will cause osteomalacia. And if you're elderly, it will cause something called osteoporosis. They all are the same type of disease. They are all caused by a lack of calcium or a lack of vitamin D, and it's because the bones are weaker. So if we have a little look at this diagram here, on the left hand side, so this one here, you have hopefully got what all of your bones look like right now. So all of your bones will have holes within them, because so it can, your bones can absorb the impact. So when you walk, your bones will hit the ground and it needs somewhere to absorb the impact. So that's why there's gaps and holes within your bones. If it was solid bone, then whenever you walked, your bones would shatter because there's nowhere to absorb the impact. However, if you have rickets, osteomalacia, or osteoporosis, you will see that these gaps are a lot bigger. Okay, so it's very thin bone. There's a lot of gaps within it. So although the impact will be absorbed whilst walking, if somebody with rickets, osteomalacia, osteoporosis were to fall, then they are more likely to break a bone because there's less bone there to absorb the impact. In children, it will cause something called rickets. And this is what somebody with rickets legs would look like. So on the left hand side here, you have got what somebody with sight rickets, what their legs would look like. So they are going straight up and down. If you were to develop rickets, the weight of your upper body starts to push down on your legs, which means that they will start to arch out like this because they can't support the weight of your upper body. Because children's bones are still grown and they're still a little bit soft, um, they are more likely to bow out because of the pressure of the upper body. So vitamin E is well also one of the ACE vitamins or the antioxidant vitamins, which help to prevent cell damage in the short term. And then in the long term will help to prevent certain cancers and also heart disease. They also help to promote healthy skin as well. But the major function of vitamin E is as an antioxidant vitamin.